Hey, how you guys doing? I'm X. Yeah, and uh, this is my version 5 up and down elevator. Um, I'm going to do a little ghetto wrap around here. Yeah, this is a, a smaller design, um, including the deck down there. It's actually 9, but if we were just to include this, it's only 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 by six. <clears throat> now it does require uh, three blocks of space from ground level so this would be bedrock basically but uh, yeah using the uh, dropper flop it makes this a lot better to use so yeah let's uh, just go ahead and check it out so no three high entryway uh, it's two like this um, it's very reliable. I haven't ch checked it on uh, like you know multiplayer servers, but you really don't even have to get centered too much. And uh, of course, it'll take you down nice with no fall damage. Um, to make it so small, I got rid of instant extension. But because it's so fast, it only has to travel down the green circuit, and it comes up to you pretty quick. So no real uh, issues on that. Yeah, it's a really slick design. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, do the tutorial on this, huh? Alright, so what you are going to need is a 6x9 platform. Now you technically only need 8, but if you want the platform in the front to be 3 wide, I'd recommend doing it at that size. And before we start, I did want to let you guys know that this um, elevator does require, um, I'll say, a medium grade PC. You could try it with a, you know, uh, I'd say like a low-end PC and see how it works, but I don't think I would infinitely expand it. Um, but yeah, my com my computer can do it, so yeah. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and start with our red circuit, and we're gonna need to make a uh, dropper flop, and so we are gonna need dropper comparator and hopper and obviously some red um, so right here we're going to need a uh, red block with a torch on it and we're going to need a comparator here and here spacing of two and we're going to want to make our dropper flop so facing up like that uh, facing over and then this one right here needs to be facing right back into it so like that and then this hopper just go straight in make sure the tube connects in like that and since we're here we aren't going to be needing these no more go ahead and shift click a button on here and then in this side here we're going to want to put an item I'm going to just throw in an iron block it doesn't matter what you have in there you could put anything dirt whatever so when we click it you can see that it's going to flop over from forward to back like that Alright, so we can go ahead and place a block here, redstone, block, and block. And you'll need a repeater there. And then we're going to need a repeater here with three pieces of redstone like that. Alright, so this is where we're going to be doing our... Kind of getting two for one on this. So two sticky pistons like that and then two um, birch or whatever it is that you like would like to make this out of so you can check this real quick should see it extend and then that so just a nice way of doing it All right so uh, before we go any further we might as well do our deck so the 9 by um, 6 platform just gonna want to make a three wide platform here like that and then right here behind these normal pistons like that and then bring this all the way over the hopper just like this so that's what we should have all right so right here we're gonna get one to go one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and that's gonna be our first floor well actually it's gonna be our only floor 
and then you want to come up three like that and then go one two and three so a total of four and just bring that all the way down as well so this is just going to be uh, where we're going to be riding up and down so it's part of the elevator shaft so it should be 10 to that floor and then you can do the same thing here so counting this block one two three four five and six and we can go ahead and do this now I leave two blocks of space here so it should be looking like that now and then just come down here and bring this up and then for the center block this is going to be where our buttons are going to be housing are housed so one um, I'm actually going to use uh, smooth like smooth better so that's going to be our first button you can use wood as well if you like and then same down here and then that's going to be um, our up and down button there so alright so now we just need to get our uh, elevator shaft completed and get our pistons in so we just need to bring this up till it's level with the deck there like that same on this side do the same over here and then on this side we're just gonna go and skip every other from the bottom like that should match up even and then we'll want to put our repeaters in like this and then on this side you're going to want to place a block then every other and then this one you should have two blocks on top of each other and that should be it now we can come in here and grab our sticky pistons and go ahead and just place them every other everywhere you see a repeater you should have your piston like that then we're going to want to put non stickies in here now if you don't have the best computer I would recommend filling in this whole thing but if you have a good computer don't worry about it like that and then we're just going to want to grab our glass and come up here and bring that down until it's a too high entryway like that and then just bring it up so just like that I like having the glass here so I can see if it's coming up or not you never know if there's any interference and so we can go ahead and just finish that off right there so just like that alright so uh, blue circuit um, this one's going to be slightly different so the way I like to do it is I like to put <clears throat> blocks like this and that's to prevent uh, this is, you basically want this um, and by covering these, um, you won't see through. It will fix any kind of uh, transparent block issues. <clears throat> so from this, we're going to want a torch and then a block on it. This is going to be our up circuit. You just go every other like that until you're level with the 10 block high. And then we can go ahead and put our torches in. And this is just a uh, two tick tower. Don't need that one. Just like that. And then in here, you're going to want to place green blocks against each torch like that. And then drop repeaters on them. Like that. And then you're going to want to do this. And then you'll want redstone going down all of these like that. So that's our up, and it's part of the retraction circuit. All right, so blue circuit. Um, off of this, we want to come over like that. And we want to place a block like this. And it, this one's just for the uh, delete that out like that. And then you're going to need a repeater facing that way like that. and you want to kind of repeat it just like this and I'm gonna go ahead and do my timings while we're here which is four and one then redstone and then you'll need a repeater like that no delay on those 
The only delay you get is on that fourth one. Alright, so on this top, repeat around four like that. And then you're just going to need redstone, just like that. And then a, re a repeater like that on no delay. Now you can go down if you like to, and just put those first if you want. It does kind of make it a little bit harder to get in there, but repeater here on no delay, repeater here on four, and then two pieces of redstone like that. So same here, no delay, four, and then like that. And you do that all the way down. No delay on that one. Four on this one. A little harder with these repeaters in the front, but it's okay. And so that's what we should have. And then we just need to do the same on this side. So four and one, four and one, four and one. And then that one's just to sever the connection three pieces of redstone down the back like that. This is what you should have now. So the next part is just getting this uh, button. So if you want it to be cool, uh, just nice looking, like that's good. So right here a block with some redstone on it and then place a block on top of it. And you want to make this pattern like that. And you just want to bring this up You can go every other like this as well. It only needs to be level. And then one more covering over the repeater. Just like that. And then we'll need redstone. And we'll need redstone here as well. No, we actually don't need any there. And you're going to need a repeater here and just bring it all the way down. Like that. And you don't need one down on the uh, sandstone there. Just like this. Then these will need um, delay on it to prevent fall damage. So I like to do four on this side and then one on this side. You technically don't need all of that, but it's better to be safe than sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, like that. And then right here, we just want to come down in here. And where this wood block is, our button's going to be right there. So we put a green block with some redstone. And then we want to do the same here. Our button's there. So redstone just like that. And this should be a functioning elevator. We just need to check it. So before we go riding in it, let's just hit it and see if it does what it's supposed to. There we go, went up. Wait. All right, and to uh, test the top, we just want to make sure we add this one piece of uh, redstone there, otherwise the signal won't travel down. And then you hit your button, and uh, depending on how tall you make it, will determine how much delay. Um, yeah, so for instance, um, each so it's like two ticks and then four so that's six if you added up all of this and you made it infinitely it would be pretty massive um, there's actually better ways to do it um, for instance having two buttons and having a one wide circuit either on this side or that and you can actually add on an instant extension circuit which I might do in the future but this is just supposed to be resource friendly and as far as centering yourself, you just kind of get, you know, close. And then uh, you hit your button. Um, and then back up in it. And try and center yourself. You don't really have to. I'll show you that. You can be pretty far off on this. Now, if you have a bad PC, I'm just going to say, uh, you know, you're probably just going to get stuck in this. And this sure as hell will never work on the 360. Maybe on the next gen. But that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's a really simple, you know, tutorial. Anyway, 
uh, comment, like, and subscribe, and of course let me know what you think of this. And like I said, you can actually use wood buttons if you'd like to on this. You don't. Ha it doesn't matter which ones you use. So, yeah, have a good one.